All right, ladies and gentlemen, we only have a couple of things to go over today. One of them is regarding the RTX 50 series graphics cards. And then the other one is just an update for the current generation of graphics cards. And then lastly, I just wanted to cover a couple of questions that I've been getting down in the comment section regarding pre-built gaming PCs. So first up, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. This thing right here, your boy likes to ride mountain bikes. And unfortunately, he's not the most talented mountain bike rider and he fell off. And now he has a big old scar up under his chin because unfortunately helmets only protect the top part of your noggin not that my brain needs protecting anyway it's already damaged enough so rtx 5090 rumor regarding the release date of this actual graphics card i don't know why i said actual there the rtx 5090 rumor and when it is actually going to release you ready for this copite 7 key me i've said this so many times I've said it so many times, ladies and gentlemen, if I had 5,000 guesses before the actual release of a graphics card, your boy would be able to get a pretty spot on guess for the, I'm going to say probably around the 400th mark. If I had about 400 guesses, I'd probably be pretty accurate regarding the RTX 50 series. So anyways, the RTX 5090 is at least in my mind, probably the graphics card that is going to release at the end of this year. I just cannot see Nvidia being dumb enough to not release the one of the, at least one of the 50 series cards at the end of the year. Like they kind of have to do this, dude. Like that is the time to sell graphics cards. And yes, I'm fully aware that there's probably a bunch of people that are only going to be grabbing one of these graphics cards in order to resell it for a profit, which is just the norm nowadays. It's benefit of the internet. If you want to make some cash, then by all means, make some cash. You know, it's whatever. If you don't have any moral morals, I don't know how else to say that, then by all means, you, you can feel free to do so. But really, that's all this article is about. It's just going over when they think the rtx 5090 and 58 are going to release and as far as I, i'm going to be able to like explain this pretty quickly here so as far as like what we can expect with the rtx 50 series your boy needs to do this because if i don't guess what's going to happen he's going to go on for the next 20 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and do this like right here i'm going to fit myself in, into the uh scene all right so the rtx 50 series the 5090 is going to be getting a 70 percent increase in performance but that is not going to be as for the gameplay that's definitely going to be in the area of either path tracing ray tracing ai capabilities and that sort of stuff rtx 50 series is probably going to be seeing around a 40 percent increase in that stuff and then that's pretty much all we know there everything else is just a guess 5090 is most likely going to release towards the end of the year i'm going to go ahead and move on real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a pc from me my facebook business page is linked down in the description below i do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which i do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below so this right here new geforce game ready driver optimizes the first descendant which also gets nvidia dlss 3.5 i'm gonna go ahead and play the trailer really quick so i want to show you guys what this game looks like it almost it reminds me of that robot dinosaur like the what is that the prime primeval you know what I'm talking about? It's the it's that game where like a bunch of like dinosaurs start falling out of the sky. It's kind of like World War Z, um, the, the like the zombie game where like a bunch of like zombies just like come flooding in everywhere. But uh, overall, it looks like a pretty cool game. I think it look looks interesting at least. What do you, I mean? What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool, dude. I can't wait for. The, so I was I actually made. I'm, I'm actually going to show you this. So I bought the best controller check this thing out dude so the reason that this is so cool it this is going to be on my gaming channel but uh so the reason i was talking about this right and like I'm, you remember the wii u you remember the wii u right so like where you could like have the like little display console and then the actual game on your tv where like you can like actually i'm going to keep playing this so that you guys can get an idea of what it's like uh so let me just show you what it is so imagine being able to 
imagine okay so right here imagine being able to like load up your your inventory and like arc survival evolved or something like something like that game where your inventory is on your phone and like you're able to play the controller but like you're playing the game on your tv but your inventory is like right here on your phone how cool would that be for a game to do that i think that that would be super sweet i think that would be really interesting uh, and the controller is super comfortable it has buttons on the back and then they also sent me this controller right here it's like i don't know how they got away with this um it doesn't like it comes with game pass but it's not an xbox controller it's a game oh whoops hold up it's a i'm getting way too far off topic your boy does that when he's interested in when he talks about things he likes so anyways here's the uh driver update so we got payday three and 4k and i'm guessing this is with yellow yeah dlss3 so this ain't the 3.5 um so you see what i'm saying like dude if it's a good game like if it's an actually optimized game like in what world do you need more than a 4080 like this is what i'm saying dude you absolutely like everyone's oh you need a 4090 and to to make it to at least understand where those people are coming from i do i've only used the quest 2 the quest 3. i haven't used one of the like uh really 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 high-end graphics cards like um or graph yeah i haven't used one uh one of the high-end vr heads that's like the valve one and then there's another one there the htc vive which i probably just i probably just barely said the same one i'm going to show you like what i look out for when i'm buying a pre-built gaming pc and i'm not going to take very long here this is going to be pretty quick until i go over one other thing that i know you guys are going to really enjoy i know that this is getting real this is simplifying it a lot so when you're buying a pc and you see a lower end cpu like let's say an i3 13100 you want to make sure this pc has a lower end graphics card as well like something like a 4060 a 3060 a 2060 a 1660 super like the lower end stuff is what's going to pair with the lower end cpus whereas if you get something like an i9 14900k in a computer you want to make sure that has like a 4080 or a 4090 or the 4070 ti like one of the higher end graphics cards this is this will bring me down a really big rabbit hole and i know you're you didn't click this video to watch this so it's just going to be some advice for those of you that are looking to build a pc or grow a pc business so the first thing you need to think of it and this is not a negative manner it's it's an actual question that you should ask yourself it's not me like just whatever being a prick so the first thing you want to ask yourself is why would anybody come to you and buy a pc from you over anybody else like why would they do that like there's there's thousands and thousands of people building computers plus there's companies online dell skytech all these like bigger name computer brands like why would anybody come to you and why would somebody build or have you build them a pc for me, the answer is I don't charge people anything. And the reason I don't charge people anything is it's literally right here. I'm Amazon is very strict about this. I cannot show you anything in my dashboard from the Amazon Associate Central, but that is what this extension is here. I don't give the computers away. I call that common sense. Why would a why would I some stranger give somebody a, a five thousand dollar computer for free? like it's just common sense dude i build them for free so like i i put a list together the price of every single part if people are okay with that price i order it with my own money they don't pay me anything i give them an update on when everything is going to arrive i build it i make videos on the pc all with my affiliate links and then i also upload the videos to each and each and every single one of those parts to the amazon influencer program and every time so amazon has millions and millions and millions of people going to their website every day so anytime somebody is on amazon and they're interested in buying a pc part you guys have seen the pc builds that i do i am very helpful with the way i create those videos when you're building a pc what do you want to know you want to know the benchmarks how it's going to perform the reliability of the parts that you're using why you're getting that that is what i do i benchmark the computer so because i am making very 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 helpful content i am earning an absurd amount of money from amazon that is how people or that is how i'm able to do what i do and that is how i am able to make an offer so good it's impossible to say no so that is why people come to me 
So you can use that for yourself. It's it's a question that I've been getting ever since I made that little advertisement where whatever my Facebook business page, I don't. And to be to, to answer the other question, why am I doing this on Facebook? The reason I'm doing this on Facebook is because what I just barely said to you, I don't charge anything for the computers. So if I started a Shopify store to sell computers, what this is what's going to happen. Shopify takes a 3% fee. PayPal takes a 3% 3% fee and then Stripe takes like a, a like it's like an 8 or 9% fee. So at the end of the day, I'm I'm having to just to break even here I'm going to have to mark a computer up about 15, maybe even 20% just to break even. So if I build you a $2,000 computer and that's like what I pay for all the parts, that's not what you would have to pay. You would end up having to pay like $2,500 because I have to make up for the fees or else I lose money. That is why people hate pre-built computers because they can go to somebody local that's only going to charge you like maybe a $200 fee for their time and experience and that kind of stuff. Like obviously having to pay their own bills and stuff. I don't need to do that because I have other income sources, but that's why people hate on pre-built computers is because Amazon, just Amazon alone takes like a 20% fee. And then they have to do all the other stuff. They got, they have their, their, whatever. They have the warehouse that they got to store everything in. They got their local shop. If they're doing that, they got employees they need to pay and all that kind of stuff, dude. So at the end of the day, most pre-built gaming PC companies have to double the price of the computer and people, that's why everyone's, oh, it's so overpriced, bro. If you were paying five grand a month for a warehouse and had a hundred employees to pay, you'd be doing the same thing. So anyways, man, that's really, I know I got pretty, I, I knew I'd go down the rabbit hole there. Uh, but anyways, that's the, I've been getting that question quite a bit. So figured I'd give you advice on that. So yeah, hopefully you guys found some value in that. If you want a more in-depth video, I can definitely do that. But I didn't even want to go to as far in depth as I did here. And I do apologize. I know it's, I literally, I haven't made a video in the past. If it's not obvious, I make a video like every other day. It's been like four or five days since I made a video. And it's honestly, it's embarrassing, dude. I don't even like leaving my place. I hate the way it looks. So like, everyone's like, I don't wanna, this side's real bad. Your boy got effed up. But uh, yeah, it's gonna bring us to the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, peace.